I need to do my homework. Big and Nesbit. Читает ученик второго Г класса. Чекалин Артем. Лицея номер 159. I need to do my homework. I really shouldn't wait. If I don't write away, my homework will be late. But first, I'll check my messages. Oh, look, I got a text. I probably should answer and do my homework next. But now, my friend says there is a video. I simply I watch it first and do my homework momentarily. <coughs> but now I feel hungry, so I guess I need a snack. I, I'll go get myself to eat and then I'll come right back. <coughs> oh, hey, I just remember there is a game I want to play that much different, just 20 minutes won't make. That, that much difference anyway. I better do my homework now. It's not procrastinate. Oh no, it's time for bed. My homework will be late. My heart's in the highlands. My heart is not here. My heart's in the highlands, a chasing the deer, a chasing the wild deer and following the wall. My heart's in the highlands, wherever I go. Farewell to the highlands, farewell to the north, the birthplace of valley, the country below. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam, the hills of the highlands, forever I roam. Farewell to the mountains, high covered with snow. Farewell to the streets and green valleys below. Farewell to the forests and the wild hanging woods. Farewell to the torrents and wild green fields. My heart's in the highlands, my heart is not here. My heart's in the highlands, a chasing the deer. A chasing the wild deer and following the world. My heart's in the highlands, wherever I go. Hello, my name is Gregory Aksionov. I am 10 years old. I am in the fourth grade of school number 16 in Novosibirsk. I want to tell you a poem. It's not always easy to keep yourself busy. The homework is done. It's fun. The book is read. And is given to Fred. The cat is wet, but why is it sad? The dishes are washed, all things are watched. It's not always easy to keep yourself busy. The king's breakfast, A. A. Mule. The king asked the queen, and the queen asked that there remain. Could we have some butter for the roll, slice of bread? The queen asked that there remain. The there remain said, Certainly I go and, and tell the cow now before she goes to bed. The there remain, she cursed and went and told the old woman. Don't forget the butter for the roll, slice of bread. The elderly said sleepily, You'd better tell His Majesty that many people nowadays like marmalade instead. The dairy said, Fancy! And went to Her Majesty. She cursed to the Queen, and she turned a little red. Excuse me, Your Majesty, for talking of the liberty, but marmalade is tasty if it's very simple spread. The queen said, oh, and went to his majesty. Talking of the butter for the royal slice of bread, many people think that marmalade is nicer. Would you like to try a little marmalade instead? The king said, bother, and, and then he said, oh, dear me, the king sucks, oh, dear me, and went back to bed. Nobody, he whimpered. Would you call me a fastener? I only want a little bit of butter for my bread. The queen said, Ah, there, there. And went to the dead.
the dairymaid said, there, there, and went to the shed. The cow said, there, there, I didn't really mean it. Uh, here's milk for his potato and butter for his bread. The queen took the butter and brought it to his majesty. The king said, nobody. As he kissed, uh, he suddenly, uh, nobody, uh, he said, as, as he slid down the banisters, nobody, my darling, could call me a fastener. I only want a little bit of butter to my bread. My name is Veronika Tokarova. I study in the fifth grade, Lyceum number 13, Krasnovsk. Now I'd like to recite the poem Traveling by unknown English author. What is traveling for me? Is it the shining sun, the sea, the golden sand which looks like beads, the blue eyed sky and tender breeze? What do I see when I close my eyes? A milk white ship with red stripes. The limpid cloud of the dawn. And the sun rises all along. And when the twilight falls from high, the night appears from heaven's gate. I see the moon in magic light The stars the sparkle in the night That's what I'm looking in my dreams And there my inspiring beams I want to see, to behold My travels on the world in front There's a whisper down the line at 11.39 When the night bell's ready to depart Saying, Skimble, where is Skimble? Has he gone to hunt the thimble? We must find him or the train can't start All the guards and all the porters And the station master's daughters They're searching high and low Saying, Skimble, where is Skimble? That unless he's very nimble Then the night mail just can't go at 11.32, then the signal's nearly due, and the passengers are frantic to a man. Then Skimble would appear, and he'll saunter to the rear. He's been busy in the luggage van. He gives one flash of his glass-green eyes, and the signal goes all clear. And we're off at last to the northern part of the northern hemisphere. You would say that by and large, it is Skimble who's in charge of the sleeping car express. From the drivers and the guards to the bagman playing cards, he'll supervise them all, more or less. 
Down the corridor he paces and examines all the faces of the travelers in the first and in the third. He establishes control by a regular patrol, and he'd know at once if anything occurred. He will watch you without winking, and he sees what you're thinking. And it's certain that he wouldn't approve for the hilarity and wrath, so the folks are very quiet when Skimble is about and on the move. You can play no pranks with Skimble Shanks. He's a cat that cannot be ignored. So nothing goes wrong on the known mail when Skimble Shanks is aboard. Oh, it's very pleasant when you have found your little den with your name written up on the door. And the berth is very neat with a newly folded sheet. And there's not a speck of dust on the floor. There's every sort of light. You can make it dark or bright. There's a button you can turn to make a breeze. There's a funny little basin you're supposed to wash your face in. And a crank to shut the window if you sneeze. Then the guard looks in politely and will ask you very brightly, Do you like your morning tea? Weak or strong? But Skimble's just behind him and was ready to remind him. The skimble won't let anything go wrong. And when you creep into your cozy berth and pull up the counterpane, you're bound to admit that it's very nice to know that you won't be bothered by mice. You can leave all that to the railway cat, the cat of the railway train. In the middle of the night, he's always fresh and bright. Every now and then he has a cup of tea with perhaps a drop of scotch while he's keeping on the watch, only stopping here and there to catch a flea. You're fast asleep in crew, so you never knew that he was walking up and down the station. You're sleeping all the while he was busy at Carlisle, where he speaks to the station master with dilation. But you saw him at Dumfries, where he speaks to the police, if there's anything they ought to know about. When you reach the yellow gate, there you do not have to wait. The skimble will help you to get out. He gives you away with his long brown tail, which says, I'll see you again. You'll meet without fail on the midnight mail, the cat of the railway train. My love is strengthened, though more weak and seeming. I love not less, though less they show up here. That love is merchandised, whose rich is teeming. The owner's tongue doth publish everywhere. Our love was new, and then, but in the spring, when I was wont to greet it with my lace as Philomel, in summer's front doth sing, and stops her pipe in growth of reaper days. Not that the summer is less pleasant now, then, when her mournful hymns did hush the night, and that wild music burthens every bough, and sweets grow calm and loose they dear delight. Therefore, like her, I sometimes hold my tongue, because I would not dull you with my song.
try, but I can't change the feeling. And it, it will be a lie to say I do when I don't. Hey, I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. I would kill myself if it would do any good. You know, it's possible to make people love others if they don't. I don't believe this the right sort of love and I'd rather not try it. Don't swear, Titi. I agree with my mother that we are not suitable to each other and our quick tempers are gonna make us miserable. I've tried and I failed and I will risk our happiness by such a serious experiment. We don't agree and we'll never shall and we'll be good friends in our lives but we won't go and do anything rush. No. To be reasonable and take a responsible view on this point. I can't say yes truly, so I won't say it at all. You'll see that I'm right. Bye bye. And you'll thank me for it. Teddy, you'll get over it this after a while and you will find a lovely, accomplished girl who will adore you and she will make mistress in her fine house. Teddy, look at me. I'm only an awkward and old and old and you would be ashamed of me and I should have liked elegant society. You would, you, you, you would hate my scribbling and, and I can't live without it. Teddy, I don't believe I shall ever marry. I'm happy as I am when I love my liberty too well to be in a hurry to give it up for any mortal man. I've done my best and you won't be reasonable and it's selfish of you to keep teasing me for what I can't give. I shall always be fond of you, very fond of you as a friend, but I will Never marry you, and the sooner as you believe it, the better for us. So now, Teddy, where are you going? Music to hear, why hearst thou music sadly, sweets with sweets moment, joy delights in joy, why lovest thou, that which thou receivest not gladly, or else receivest with pleasure thine annoy. If the true concord on well-tuned sounds, by unions married, do offence thine ear. They do but sweetly chide thee, who confounds in singleness the parts that thou shouldst bear. Mark, how one string, sweet husband to another, strikes each in each by mutual ordering, resembling Zaya, and child, and happy mother, who all in one, one pleasing not to sing whose speechless song bang many singing one 
sing this to thee, thou single worth of love. About 
as big as me. My parents said, well, well. Many happy returns of the day, yeah. Thank you, cool. I'm having fun. I brought a little present. It happened. It's useful for and he is this happy birthday with love from Pooh. Why? I believe my balloon will just go into the pot. Oh no, yeah. Balloons are not too big to go into pots.